Hey guys, oh, this tripod is testing me. I have like an actual tripod and it hates me. Um, so my name is Caitlin, thank you so much for watching. Um, I wanted to come and do, I think I'm at week 35 post-op from VSG surgery. I had surgery on October 12, 2015 in Little Mass at Little General Hospital with Dr. Rebecca Shore. Um, my starting weight at the beginning of this was 335. My weight on the date of surgery was 300.8. My weight last week that I saw you guys, I think it was like 213 or maybe even 216, I don't remember. This morning I weighed in at 211 even. So I'll also I do have to mention I am 5'4", 5'5 on a good day. There's my height. Um, so I did lose a few pounds since last week, which is exciting. I do feel the bloat going down. Um, I also have been working really hard to be more on point with my portion sizes to get over 100 ounces of water in every day and then be much more active. So it's going well like I feel good about the results I feel like I've been going excuse me in a good direction with life with my entire life um, so yeah this week has been really good um, let's see today's Wednesday um, I think I've had a really great week as far as exercise goes I walked Monday and Tuesday on my lunch break I did a mile and a half um, and then both days my oldest son is really into basketball right now with the playoffs and everything it's so cute he's never like he's never been that interested in sports so he's really into it excuse me um so we bought a basketball and monday me and the boys went and were shooting and practicing and i was running around with them and then yesterday my boyfriend and my boys went out and we did like a game of two on two and it was just so incredible and so adorable um trying to get them to t learn how to shoot and then we were playing the game of two on two and like just trying to block them and my boyfriend had made a comment kind of halfway through like the ball had it was like a really big court there was a couple other people playing on that end we were on this end and the ball had kind of shot out so I like ran after it and grabbed it and I came back and I was just dribbling it and whatever and I can totally shoot the ball like get it in whatever um but my boyfriend was like Caitlin two years ago you never would have run after that ball you would not even be participating with us here like you would be sitting on the steps with your camera or whatever um but you never would have been here like this is incredible and I was like you're right like this is such an nsv for me because this is actually this is actually like me hitting goal for surgery right because i never had an actual weight goal that i put on things because i have no freaking idea i've never been below i've never been here so i have no idea I'm, i feel good whatever i don't have a number i'm not going to put a number on where i need to be my goal with the surgery was to be more present in my life in my children's lives to be more active to um, be a better example to them as far as physical um activity goes but then also just to be a better overall example to my children of what healthy is um to be able to participate in things and sports and go to amusement parks and be one and wanting to be present with my children wanting to make those memories and wanting to get um to get in there and get involved and, and be part of everything and not sit on the sidelines and literally like that's just kind of normal now like after work after work 120 pounds ago girl i would be on that bed i would be watching tv and ask and having my kids play video games make yourself a sandwich i need to lay down i'm exhausted but like hello i worked all day i walked a mile and a half of my lunch and then we went to the basketball court and we played for an hour and a half okay like that's incredible for me i'm not saying that like calling goal whatever but i'm just saying like this is me achieving what I wanted to do and to get out of this surgery. And I feel like surgery, like I've had to work really hard to, to get to where I am. You know, working out is something totally new, you know, adapting a better eating habits, things like that. I've had to put a lot of work in to get to where I am. But I just feel like this surgery was such an incredible gift to me and has allowed me and given me the opportunity to live this more enhanced life. And I am so thankful literally every single day that I made this decision. Um, so I, it's just like, for me, those are memories that I'm going to carry around with me everywhere that I go, being able to play sports, being able to see the smile on my youngest son's face when I'm like trying to block him and like run after him. Like, it's just, it's incredible. Like it's the most incredible feeling you guys. And I'm so pumped for it. So we did that yesterday. And then I also, after put the kids down to bed, I went to the gym and literally, um, I don't even know. I had like the most energy, um, ever. Um, I ran, I've been doing couch to 5k, not very consistently. Um, and so yesterday I was just like, whatever, I got on the treadmill, I started walking and then I was like, let's just run, jog, run, let's just jog. And I literally 
jogged for six and a half minutes straight. Like for me, that's, that's huge. Sorry, I was just like, okay, let's do this. <clears throat> and then towards the end of it, before I started cooling down, I put it up higher than I ever had. I'm not gonna say the number because it's kind of embarrassing because it's still pretty low, but higher than I ever have. And I literally sprinted for a little over a minute. Like for me, just seeing the progress as to where I am in my ability um, to kind of, the stamina that I have now is, again, another way that I'm measuring my success with this tool. Fuck you, Mr. Scale. Screw the goddamn scale. Um, I have to, I have to, I have to measure my success in other ways, and this is how I'm doing it. Pictures of where I was and where I am, but also the amount of energy that, that I have, the stamina, my desire to be more active, my desire to be involved in my family's life. So that, for me, is a huge, huge success. I'm, like, having issues today. For me, that is such a huge <laughs> for me it's a huge success okay um so yeah so i'm just really pumped about you know where i'm at right now kind of a different situation from my bitch fest video not that i wanted to bitch about the number on the scale like i sincerely am a little bit nervous about the, the possibility of stretching out my sleeve like from day one that has always been my my worry because I was able to get back get in more fluid right away and more like pudding right away on the liquid diet do you know what I mean than a lot of people were so for me I mean I've always had that that anxiety piece of things and that you know this isn't going to work it's not going to be long term whatever I I apologize if it came across as being like I'm bitching and what was me and this and that but I you know I literally this is kind of like my diary this is my this is literally me tracking my life for however long and this progress and this journey that I'm on and so that was just what I was struggling with that's where I was at last week uh, and it's not that I'm kind of over that completely but I'm just doing my best to kind of change things up and to be more conscious of the decisions that I'm making um, and to be more positive um, I will say kind of on a more serious note, um, the situation that happened in Orlando, like my heart is literally broken. When I heard that it was broken into a thousand pieces for the victims of the shooting at the nightclub um, in Orlando, I don't want to get too much into it, but my heart and my soul were like shattered into a million pieces for the victims, for the people, um, you know, the survivors, for their families, for their friends, just everybody. Like, I just can't handle that, that, that kind of news and information. I know it affects everybody, but like, it just really, it weighs heavily on my heart. And then the other day I was yesterday, actually I was looking online and I saw that one of the victims, um, had weight loss surgery. She was actually in part of the community and it really, really struck a chord of me because here I am like she was so she had lost over 150 pounds and she was so proud of her accomplishments and as she should be she was beautiful and she had done such a great job and she had worked so hard and just thinking about like the blood sweat and tears that must have gone into her journey was literally just wiped away like in the blink of an eye in an instant it was taken from her it was it's absolutely horrendous and disgusting and I just again I don't want to get into much of into it too much because I'm gonna get like heated and hot and like crazy but just thinking about these poor people the fact that their life is over and for me it's like my I, you never know like my life could be over in an instant my life could be over after I film this video and to think about yes this journey is hard this journey is there's work Ugh. Hey guys, sorry, my uh, camera overheated, so I had to shut it off for a minute. But um, as I was saying, the fight that we go through this battle, it's hard, it's real, and it's completely necessary, but I don't wanna make it all consuming of who I am. Though again, the goal for me to have this surgery was to enjoy life, to make memories, to be there for my children for years and years to come. And yes, I, I, I'm still gonna you know, monitor my intake of protein, how much protein, my goals, my carbs, my water, things like that, but I don't, I don't wanna really just let things um, weigh on me as heavily as they have been in the past few weeks about gaining a few pounds going down more it's just that is how my body's you know reacting to everything I know that I'm putting in my effort end of story like I just need to move on and not be all consumed because God knows when my day will come you know what I mean when my day will come and I'm no longer on this earth I don't want people to look back and see my life as you know somebody who's kind of just 
more anal retentive about my calories and my goals and my macros and everything like that I want them to look back and to enjoy the memories that, that I've built with them and that I've made with them and that we share together and and my personality and who I was as a person as a whole and not just my weight loss they're not going to remember my weight loss journey they're not going to remember any of that they're going to remember me as a person and I want those memories to be you know to be built up and and to be great for my children and my my loved ones and so <clears throat> my heart goes out to these families and the friends that lost their loved ones and then it also just really made me kind of reflect inward about who I am and what my focus has been the past few months and just to realize life isn't a guarantee um, and that I want to again just just be a better me and not be so um, angry at life because the scale went up or because the scale isn't moving so um, Again, my heart goes out to anybody who was affected by the tragedy. I know a few people that have lost loved ones and I am so sorry. I can't even express how sorry I am. And these things just really, they fire me up because it's like I brought children into this world and I don't want them to have to grow up worrying about these things and these situations and these incidents. Um, and I literally will do everything in my power to raise my children to be respectful, uh, you know, respectful young men to be kind of good examples of how to behave and how to act and how to treat other people. Um, so that kind of just lights a fire under my ass that I need to, to really start, not start, but continue to raise little gentlemen um, and make sure that my children are never, ever anywhere near that. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I know it's kind of a scatterbrained hot mess video as per usual, but that's why you guys love me, right? Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you so much. If you have any questions or comments or any suggestions on videos you'd like to see, please feel free to leave them down below. I am happy to read them and hopefully respond. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you later. Bye.